Hi there, this is Dave from DNJ Farming, and today I'm going to be starting a gameplay series on Old Kiwi Farm. It's a relatively new map that just came out, and I was looking at it on the Mod Hub, and it looked really cool. And there's a whole bunch of new crop types. Well, not new, been, they have been in other maps, but... There's carrots, onions, coffee, mustard, millet, tomatoes, there, I mean, there's rye, there's tons of these. Rice? You can even grow rice. That's pretty cool. But I have no idea how to do most of that stuff. Um, I think you have to use the sugar beet harvester for the tomatoes and the onions and the carrots, I would guess. But anyway, I... <clears throat> I started on new farmer mode and I was gonna just start with what they gave me but it was kinda too easy I thought because you had a pretty nice combine a uh, sugar beet harvester with a header, a truck, a semi a whole bunch of stuff, a bigger uh, well not a bigger planter but just you had a corn planter, you had everything so I thought that was a little too easy and there wouldn't have been much to work for so I still started on new farmer mode but I sold off some of the better equipment they have. I kept some of it, but I replaced it with slightly less good stuff. So, what we have here, we'll go into the store and check it out. We have the, this was actually in the map when I started it, the New Holland. And then I got this. This is a mod from the Mod Hub, John Deere 40 series mod. And then I got this combine. And it didn't have a pickup truck, but I figured that'd be useful, so I got one of those. I kept the trailer, this was in the starting game too, and then I got the small header for the for the combine. And then I got this just because I like I like using this this subsoiler. It, it also creates fields. And then I got this this is another mod hub thing here. This is a was it six meter yeah, six meter John Deere uh, direct drill seeder. That's pretty good. It had a really big fertilizer. Um, so I sold that off and I got this this and off oh, another mod. But I like mods. But anyway, this is a 20 meter width working with uh, small fertilizer. It only holds 2,000 liters. So I figured that was a little more realistic for somebody just starting out. And then all this this front loader stuff was all uh, was all already here. That came with the uh, New Holland. And then the uh, pickup truck, I got a flatbed for it because I didn't have a flatbed trailer and. The animal stuff also came with the map. Oh, that's a multi-fruit. That's pretty cool. So, so it looks like you can store most anything in the silo. I'm sure there's some crazy modded stuff that might not work, but it looks like everything in this map, anyway, you can store in there. Anyway, I think we're going to start out by looking at our fields, because I honestly don't know what we have. We own number 44 and 52, so let's... Get that cursor out of the way, first of all. But let's look at 52. Oops. Alright. Uh, we will see what's on there. Is it wheat? Yeah, it looks like wheat. Alright, so let's get the combine out. And then header's already connected. We'll start him over there. And then I think... Let's see, what did I say? 50... 52, yeah. All right, we'll start the combine harvest in that field. Try to get us a little bit of money. I do need to get a weeder. Oh, God, you can't get out this way. All right, we'll have to go out this way. Um, yeah, I drove around a little bit just to move some machinery around and set it up kind of how I wanted it to start the series. So I don't really know this map too well at all, but I know the entrance to the farm is over here. I don't know why I started going the other way. Yeah, we'll get this guy over there, and uh, I think with this series, I'd like to not do anything too crazy. Um, just build up the farm, buy a bunch more land. I'd like to set a goal to plant and harvest every crop. I think that's a pretty easy one to achieve, but it might take a while, because that sugar beet harvester is pricey. I'm not sure if it's the same one as the base game uh, sugar beet harvester, but... I know that one to get that in the header was roughly six hundred thousand, so that's going to take a while. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do animals or not, but we do have the pens. Looks like we have a sheep barn, a cow barn, and chickens. 
So I'm not sure if there's a pig barn or not. And my cat knocked everything down. But that's all right. We're just going to keep going because I've already... Oh, wow, this is a funky-looking field. I've already scrapped this recording three times because I messed up. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. So I guess we'll start this guy over here, maybe? This looks like a... Probably... Oh, God. Destroying crops already. Oh, well, maybe not. Got lucky. All right, so let's get him going there. And then... Oh, lag. Then we're going to go check out our other field and see. I think it's plowed. Pretty sure. Then we got to go figure out what we're going to plant on that. we got to be careful because I'm not sure what our header... Oh, I should check that, actually. What our header is going to be able to harvest. So Looks like it does normal stuff and then millet, coffee. Oh, that'd be cool. Looks like mustard or mustard seed, sorghum, rye, and rice. That's I didn't know you harvested rice with a combine, but I don't know much about farming rice. I do know a little bit about farming. I did work on a dairy farm for about two years, which uh, was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, this is plowed. Okay, so I think we'll get this tractor on the planter. And we will cycle through that and see what that planter can actually plant. Because I am not sure. But yeah, anyway, I worked on a dairy farm for two years. And it was uh, not a big farm, but it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab the planter here. And see... Oh, i got to fill this too. I forgot about that. But we'll go down to the store and we'll get some seeds, some fertilizer, because this planter is also a fertilizer. Well, cedar, I guess, this is not a planter. So, looks like the normal stuff, soybeans, oil seed, grass. Oh, carrots. Okay, we can't harvest those. Can't harvest those either. There's millet. I think we can harvest that. There's coffee. Uh, mustard, sorghum, rye, rice. Okay, so we can do pretty much everything I think except for the carrots and the onions yeah so you know what let's try coffee because it sounds kind of interesting um, I think for the time being because I don't have a flatbed or anything well I do have a flatbed but then I'd have to drive the tractor over there as well so I think as well as my pickup. So I think I'm going to dump this off and grab the pallet forks and then drive the planter over with this tractor. Oh wait, actually, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't have to do that. Never mind. Disregard everything I just said. I will take this tractor like I had it before and you can just load them off the ground. I always forget about that. I guess it would have been a little more realistic if I would have filled it with the tractor. Let's go in here and get a seed pallet. Yeah, I think we'll just get one for now. Actually, no, we'll get two. I do have the bulk buy mod installed too, by the way, and uh, another pallet mod. So, oh, I should have bought these. Yeah, this is the other pallet mod I have for seeds. And yeah, this is the Pioneer Pack too. I have that mod. So fertilizer, lime, pig food, oats, wheat, and the seeds, I think, are already base game, but we need a fertilizer. We'll get two of those, too. And then we will drive this over to the store. And I think there is another way out over here. I think. So we'll, uh, we'll try that. I am playing on PC, by the way, and I know there is uh, Xbox buttons up there, but I do play on a controller. <coughs> I can play with keyboard and mouse, but I'm not the best at driving, and there is a lot of driving in this game, so I just avoid that and use the controller. But when I do logging maps, I do I do use the uh, keyboard and mouse because I think it's better. I like it operating the. Oh, what happened here? There's a bit of an accident, and there's pigs in no pen. Interesting. Alrighty, well, I guess the. I'm sure they'll figure that out. Alright, let's go down to the store. Oh god, I'm not in America. Alrighty. I think this map is in Australia, if I remember correctly. 
they kind of, I was thinking UK, because I know they drive on this side of the road, but I, this does not look like the UK. I thought this was kind of cool. The store's got this gate that comes up and down. Oh. Alright, so we should be able to just pull up next to this and load it up. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll top it off, might as well. We'll need it, I'm sure, after we plant our fields. I should also check the combine, because he might be full. I have not been paying attention to see if that came up across my screen. So after we get this filled, we'll check on him. Wow, this thing takes a lot of seeds. I do like this uh, cedar, though. It's kind of funky looking. But I do like it. It works pretty nice. And when you have the, the helper buy off, it just works out good. Because I know sometimes they uh, run out of fertilizer before seeds, and that's really annoying because if you're not paying attention, he will uh, not stop when he runs out of fertilizer, and then you got a half-fertilized field, and it's a mess trying to get that all sorted out. So I do like this one because the seeds will run out before the fertilizer. Because generally the fertilizer gets used a little bit faster than the seeds, which is nice. I think we turn here. Yeah, we turn here. That's just a big rock, or, uh, paved area. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. Right, you are... Oh, you hit... Oh, no, you're still going. All right. Sweet. Probably should have turned the straw swath off on that guy, because that's going to be all wasted now. I don't have any way to pick that up. This map also came with a bunch of bailing stuff, too, right off the bat, which I guess is kind of cool, but for me, I, I prefer a little bit of a challenge. I'm not too crazy with challenges, though, because I left the economic difficulty on normal. Um, I've never played on hard. I think normal's good. Because if you play on hard, sometimes I feel like, it, it would to me, it seems like the game probably goes too slow. I've never tried it, but I know it's a lot slower on normal than it is on easy, but easy's too fast. I would say. So yeah, we're going to plant coffee. This is a very big starting field. But let's try to get this guy lined up. Just have to ignore my terrible backing up skills. And the tree is kind of in my way. Alright, that looks like... Yeah, it looks like it's going to work good. I also think these fields probably need lime, but I did not check that either. So... Where are we? 44 and 52. Uh, nope, they do need plowing and they need lime. Hmm. Alright, so we'll have to plow both of these after this. Well, I guess after this planting, because I don't want to stop him now. He's already going, but I can lime it after he is done. Uh, let's let's take the front loader off and set the weight down. We'll grab this trailer. And we will go wait for the combine to fill up. I know that thing's going to take a while. It's got a pretty small header. But I figured just starting out, we probably want to start small. Not go too crazy. Eventually we'll upgrade the combine header and whatnot, but... For right now, I'm just worried about trying to make some money and testing out all the crops because I'm really interested to see what's going to sell for the most, what's going to be a good deal. Now, let's see how he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's still got a ways to go. All right, I think there's nothing really exciting going to happen for a few minutes, so I will bring you back in when I either have to dump him or he's done, which, yeah, you're gonna it, it'll be when he's going to dump. But alrighty. Alrighty guys, we are back. My combine just filled up. He got eh, probably probably about half of the way through. So let's grab yeah, let's grab this guy. And luckily he filled up going this way because it really drives me nuts when they fill up with their pipe towards the crops. Because then you gotta back him out of there unless you want to destroy your crops, and I don't think there's any farmer that wants to destroy their crops. So we'll empty this guy, and I think 
probably leave the trailer here and start doing something else because this is probably going to take a little while still. We'll see how the, the planter's doing. We might start liming that field, I think. Because I'm already going to lose some because it needs a plowing state. So I want to make sure I fertilize it and lime it so I get a little more. I know the, I think the needing plowed, I think that's a 25% deduction in yield. Maybe it's 15, I can't remember. I think lime is a 15% increase. So hopefully we don't lose too much of our yield if I lime it. Alright, so he's filled up. Let's go let's go take a look at the planter's progress and see if we can maybe start liming behind him. I do like the looks of this map, all the trees, but it's also pretty open. It's uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> this thing here, this is a very... I drove through here messing around earlier. This is very deep. Like, it doesn't look that deep, but it will cover this entire track here. Anyways, yeah, that looks like the... sheep pasture in front, maybe the cow pasture out back. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's, is this a collision fence? Oh, it is. I wonder how you get in there and fill that. It's got to be a gate somewhere, I'm assuming. That does look pretty nice, though. I do like that. So let's see. Oh, he's he's about halfway. A little over halfway. All right, so let's go grab the fertilizer out of the barn here, and we will run over to the store and get... Oh, went the wrong way. All right, now we'll go grab the fertilizer and get some lime in there, and it's probably going to use a lot because it only has a... 2,000 liter capacity, and I'm sure that field's going to take at least 6,000 liters. Probably more. But that's alright. He's still planting, so we won't want to go too fast. I suppose I could get a bunch of stuff with the flatbed and drop it off here, but I'd have to drive this tractor over there too to load the stuff on the flatbed. So I think for now I'll just keep getting it from the store, because luckily the store is really close to our, our homestead here. Which is nice, because a lot of times, you know, these maps, they start off and the store is all the way across the map. And a new farmer, you normally don't start with a semi or anything. Sometimes you start with a pickup, but it's a long ride in a tractor to get to the store. So luckily this one's pretty close. And I haven't decided what I'm going to plant over there yet. Uh, probably something new. Probably rye, I think. Yeah, we'll go this way. Last time we went the other way, we'll go this way. I think it might be a little quicker going this way. Yeah, i got to remember to drive on the opposite side of the road. Check both directions. And I've noticed these guys drive very slow. Like, I was following one, and I figured 30 would be about the speed they'd go. No. It's like about 17 or 18. But I figured I'd leave the traffic on. Kind of looks more realistic, because... I don't know. Oh, I forgot to buy line paths. Anyway. Let's come in here. Yeah, this pallet mod I got, the Pioneer pallet mod. They have lime, too. And I think it's cheaper to get lime from the pallets, the Pioneer pallets, because that's 700 for 2,400 liters, and the big bags are 450 for 2,000. So maybe it's not cheaper. But anyway, you got to buy less of these, so I'll just, I'll just get these. Um, we'll get... Probably four to start, because we have a lot of a lot a lot of liming to do. Because we have both fields to do, and like I said, this is gonna burn through this real quick. So yeah, now we'll make our way back over to the field. Uh, and also I was thinking too, while I was off camera, I was, well, not camera, but off recording, I was thinking I was going to try to do this series, oh, on the wrong side of the road again, try to do this series without 
loans because I just I don't know just make it a little bit more challenging actually I don't remember if you start with a loan and new farmer or not it looks like you do not okay yeah and this uh this all this this uh oh, where's my cursor all this money here that says was brought in today that was just from selling all of the equipment and buying other stuff to replace it so from everything I sold you know one million two hundred and fifty four thousand dollars I've only I paid three hundred and thirty eight to buy back the equipment so they, they gave you they were very generous when they uh, selected the starting equipment but we will get all that stuff back it might just take some time yeah anyways I thought starting without a loan well doing the series without a loan I just figured would be a little bit more fun because I know normally I get into a new series and I well not a new series my first series but I get into a new gameplay and I max out the loan straight away and I get a better combine because I usually can't handle the slow combine but yeah I think I'm gonna try it without looks like yeah the planters making really good progress so, I think I'm just going to do this myself. I'm not going to hire a worker or anything. And I don't think... Yeah, there's not narrows on here right now, but it doesn't matter because they haven't popped up yet. Let's get this guy lined up. Oh, could go a little wider. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this thing is going to burn through lime, but it's not going as fast as I thought, so that's good. Anyways, yep, I will bring it back in when the combine's done and the tractor is done planting. Alright, and we are back. I got the other field limed, and it took just, just under 4,000 liters, so not as bad as I thought. I had to fill that up once more after the first time. But I think what we're going to do now... Is the combine stopped? He is stopped. Alright, I don't know why he stopped. But, I suppose this field isn't quite perfect. So, he probably has trouble. So, we will reset him. And then I think we're going to look into some sort of herbicide sprayer. Because we don't want weeds. Do not... Alright, that should be about good. Alright, so let's go in the store. And let's look at... Where is it? Crop protection? Let's look at a sprayer. Now, these are kind of pricey, but it's going to be something we're going to use forever. So it's almost worth how big is that? 21 meters. God, that's a lot of money. Uh, if I bought that, then I wouldn't have money to fill it. Now, this one's pretty affordable. That's 18 meters, and it's got the companion tank there. This one's 66,000. Eight. That's 18 meters. That's it. Uh, I do have this John Deere sprayer mod too, but that is way more money than we have available to us at the moment. So I think I think we're gonna get this guy. Um, it doesn't hold that much, but it's a little wider than the other one, so it'll speed up the process a little bit. So I think we're gonna buy that, and then oh, what the heck is going on here? Uh, he, I don't think, means to dump in the trailer. I just think my tractor is in the way. So I guess we'll let him finish. Oh, yeah, he's just going to run into that. All right, so we'll reset him again. I guess we're going to have to watch him. Do we need to increase the workers' wages or something to make him work a little harder? But anyway, let's get him reset. And we'll go over to the store with the new Holland and pick up our new sprayer and yep I forgot to buy herbicide pallets well tanks again so I'll have to do that when I go over there yeah I think we can start herbiciding the field that's planted and limed I think I'm not sure if a worker will do it or I'll have to do it but I think if we do it before the weeds come up we don't have to worry about the weeds at all so I think oh, wrong side of the road I think that's my goal is to get that done before the weeds pop up because then you don't have to worry about them growing unevenly and in part of the field and stuff like that and we're gonna pass this guy oh yeah wrong lane 
Alright, uh, let's come in here, pick up our sprayer. And I'll we'll probably pick up two pallets, uh, or two tanks of herbicide, just so in case we run out, we can come back and fill it up and not have to buy another one. So, yep, herbicide. 2,000 liters, we'll get two of those. And we'll fill this guy up. I don't think I've ever used this sprayer, actually. I always get the, uh, the first one there in the store. Oh, yeah. fill up the other one, too. I always end up getting the first one in the store. Um, I've never used this one. Hopefully it works good. I've never... Uh, I know some sometimes some of the equipment doesn't work too good with a worker, but... Usually the base game stuff's all pretty good. I actually don't think I've ever used this tractor either. I kind of like it so far. It's not very powerful, but it should be okay for spraying and for... Oh, God. I might have to put the front weight on there. It should be okay. Oh, see? Doing a wheelie a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go grab the front weight for this, but I've... this should do okay for spraying and fertilizing, I think. I don't think this even has a horsepower requirement. Maybe it does. But I don't think the fertil uh, solid fertilizer spreaders do. See, we'll probably keep this around for a while. It's pretty fast, too. Sometimes, this, well, a lot of times, the smaller tractors only do 24 miles an hour. This one does 32. That's pretty good. It'll work out nice because I can't transport the pallets and stuff back to the farm yet. Well, I guess I could, but it'd take a little while because I'd have to have two pieces of machinery over there at one time. Yeah, this, uh, the game started you with a weight, too, so that's good. We'll uh, pick that up and see if we can hire a worker for this or if we'll have to do it. If I'll have to do it. Oh, okay. Is this the right side? Yeah, it's the right side. Pick that up. Oh, God, we're running over chickens here. If we had any. Another thing I thought was cool about this barn is it says the old kiwi farm there on the top. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, this definitely handles well, a little better. Kind of. A little better without with the weight on there. Might look into a bigger weight and see how much that would cost. I don't think they're too expensive. Oops, there's my wonderful driving skills on display there. Because I think in real life that would have broken that little arm right off of there. Let's see if we can hire a worker. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not going to let us. Alright, I'll have to do this myself. Not a big deal, though. I'll bring you back in when this is done. And hopefully the combine... Oh, he stopped again. Hopefully the combine will be done by the time you come back, too. Alright guys, welcome back. I finished herbiciding the other field, and the combine's still still plugging away. Seems to be doing a little better now. Uh, not stopping, anyway. Um, so let's let's decide what we're going to plant on this field here. So let me... Oh, I need a little refresher on what our header can harvest. So millet, coffee, mustard, sorghum, rye, and rice. All right, let's. Uh, I think we're gonna plant. We're gonna plant rye on this field. So let's switch this to rye, and we will start him. Even though he'll probably run out of seeds, but that's okay. We will start him, and we're gonna take this guy over and fill him up with fertilizer, because that other field should be ready to be fertilized after it's herbicided. Because that takes the, not that it takes the fertilizer state away, but it makes it so you can fertilize it right after, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go fill this guy up with fertilizer, and I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to take a little time to tell you a little bit more about me. So, as you probably know from the intro, my name's Dave. I am in my mid-20s, well, just entering my mid-20s. I'm 24 years old, and I work full-time in the manufacturing field, and I am quality control currently. I won't say the name of the company I work for, but 
yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty much it. I'm not too I don't do too much. I play a lot of Farming Simulator, and that's mainly the reason I wanted to try and start a channel because I play this game so much, and I don't know. I just figured I'd I'd take a stab at it. I know. It, let's see. How do I unload? Yeah, there we go. Um, so we need the fertilizer. I don't know how we're gonna get this without getting the lime, but we will try. Nope, we got lime. Okay. All right, so let's let's push this guy out of the way. There we go. And we'll drop the lime off over here, next to this other one. So both of these have a combined less than 400 liters total. Anyway, yeah, the main reason I wanted to start this channel is just because I, I play so much, and I figured, I don't know, it'd be a good learning experience for me, because I've never done anything like this before. And it's not something I would typically think of myself doing, but, I don't know, I figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah, and I've, I've been in manufacturing most of my life, I, well, my adult life anyway. I did work on a farm, like I said earlier for a little while, which was a lot of fun. Uh, some days I wish I still worked there. But, yeah, it was a relatively small-sized dairy farm, I'd say. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 cows. I know for, for the area it was in, it was pretty small, because I know some of them, some of them had like 3,000 milking cows, roughly. So that, that's, that's, that's a lot. But, yeah, mainly I milk cows there. I did drive some equipment. Um, but, you know, I drove a lot of skid steer and stuff like that, or bobcats, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. That's, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to tell you. I can't really think of anything important. Um, like I said, most of the time I just sit at home and play this game. Yeah, I will uh, I'll bring you back in when something else interesting happens. If it happens. Hopefully it happens. Alright guys, welcome back. So, the harvester finished up and the planter is still going, but we ended up with 21,790 liters off of that field of wheat, which, uh, I don't know, that's a decent sized field. I think we probably should have got a little bit more. But, I think we're going to take this over and sell it because we're a little low on cash. Let's just see real quick if we have any in our silo. Usually they start you with some. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to grab whatever we can fit in this trailer and probably take it down and sell it. And I think I want to get a new header. <laughs> I know I just got that combine and header, but I think I think I want to upgrade that header because it is very, very slow. And when I was doing the mod review of that combine, because I, really, I, I really like it, it's a pretty nice combine, but I... I didn't know this before I was doing that, but you can actually hook up this uh, Massey Ferguson header to it, the free flow 25 foot, and that should be a lot faster. I'm not sure if you can hook any bigger ones up to it, but this this would probably be a little overkill here. I don't know if it would have enough power for that. So I think 49,000. Yeah, once we sell this, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna maybe invest in that. And if we're too low on cash, we can sell this stuff in our silo here because we you know we could sell the probably the soybeans or the sunflowers probably get a pretty good price for that and actually let's check and see what the sell price of coffee is because I haven't even looked at that stuff yet Ooh, 1500 or well that's 1100 so that's pretty good that's probably a medium yield crop I would guess millet looks like it's pretty low yield judging by the price here mustard looks pretty good Rye, that, that's probably a high yield one there because those prices are pretty low. And the sorghum, that's yeah, that's probably a high yield too. Yeah, like I said, eventually we're gonna try like tomatoes and onions and carrots and stuff, but we gotta work our way up to get that harvester. I'm pretty sure you need the uh, where is it? Probably under beet technology. Yeah, yeah, this is the root harvester. That'll do all your root crops. So eventually, ooh, 495,000. Eventually, we're going to work our way up to this, which would be pretty sweet. And it is nice that you can do all of them with that, and you don't 
you know, the sugar beets, potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, onions. You don't have to buy two of those machines. That is pretty nice. But I bet you the header, you might have to buy multiple headers. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you got a carrot header, onion header, potato header, sugar beet header. Oh, potato header. That is that is awesome. I didn't even notice that before. That is awesome. Because a potato harvester, I don't like it at all. And that's like the main reason I don't do potatoes that often. But we might do potatoes more if we can get that guy there. That is pretty good. Anyway, let's look at the price. Oh, we were in here before. I totally forgot to look at the price. So, 620 That looks like the best, best one. The farmer's market. Where would that be? Is there flashing? Oh, over here. Okay, so that doesn't look too hard. So it looks like we come out here... And go the opposite way of the store. Okay. Yeah, so we'll take this over and sell it real quick. But yeah, I really like potatoes. Like, the Grim Pack is pretty cool. I use that over the over the dedicated harvester just because I dislike that harvester so much. But that is really awesome that they, uh... The T... Was it T440? Is that the harvester? It's really awesome that they uh, converted that to do potatoes, too. Potatoes, generally, you get, well, I guess the money's probably similar to sugar beets. I think you get more yield off of sugar beets. But I always ended up, I like, I always wanted to do a root crop, and uh, I always ended up doing sugar beets just because I like the harvester a lot more. But it will be nice to have the freedom to do whatever crop I want and not totally hate the harvester that I'm using. Yeah, so let's, let's try not to have an accident here. Remember what side of the road to drive on? Yep. Yeah, I think this trailer will be okay for now. It'd be nice if it held more, but I think for our operation so far, it's it's pretty pretty small scale. So let's uh, let's pass this guy. It's pretty sad when you're getting passed by a tractor. But yeah. Uh, oh, I think I, I think it looks like that brick building up there. Even before I pl before I started this uh, video, I didn't even look at the rest of the map. I just looked at the pictures um, on the mod hub, and it looked pretty cool. So far, I really like it. It's nice. Oh, this is one of those indoor ones. I struggle pretty hard with these. I usually end up driving straight into the wall. But let's take it nice and slow. There we go. All right. See, let's see how much we get from this. Probably ten thousand, twelve. Well, maybe more than ten thousand. So it's about six hundred. See, so yeah, maybe thirteen thousand. That would be nice. See, we already got enough for the header. That's good. Oh yeah. And we'll get some money from selling the header, the other header back to, um, as well. So yeah, fourteen thousand. That's pretty good. That's more than I thought. That's pretty good. Yeah. So I think we will. Yeah, we're gonna sell that other header and pick up the. Oh, wrong side of the road. Old habits die hard. But uh. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna pick up that new header, and I think. Not sure what our next purchase will be after that. Maybe a corn header, I think. Oh, I went down the wrong bridge. Hopefully you can still get there from here. Yeah, I think a corn header would be nice, but see, then I'd have to get a planter. I'm not sure. That'd be a lot of money getting into that, because I'm sure the header is probably around 50 grand. Getting a decent planter, six meters or so, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be over 100,000, I think, to get into that stuff. I suppose it shouldn't take too long if we're getting, you know, that other field's about the same size as the one we just harvested, so we get maybe 30,000 off a of harvest. That's that's pretty good for starting out, so maybe it won't take as long as I'm thinking. But also, too, I'm used to playing uh, No Man's Land or something like similar like that, so uh, usually I start and, oh, he's still chugging away over there. Usually I'm making fields and clearing trees and stuff, so it's kind of a 
kind of different plan here where everything's kind of made for me. But maybe it'll be a nice change because No Man's Land, there is a lot of plowing fields. And it takes a long time. Unless you get the Cultivator Create Fields mod, which is pretty cool. Or there's a pretty nifty John Deere plow. Kind of looks like a Cultivator, but it's a plow in the mod hub. I really like that a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to think what our next move is here. Probably starting to lime that other field, I would think. But, I think what we'll do is we will take this guy down to the store. And we got to fill up the spreader with lime again. And we'll get him liming, and then while the worker's working on that, I think we will uh, swap out that header. I think that's what we'll do. This, this is filled with fertilizer, so I'm just going to unload this somewhere over here out of the way so I don't have to drive, make an extra trip to the store later. That wouldn't make very much sense. So yeah, let's get this guy over here, and we will unload that. Perfect. Yep, and yep, we'll go down to the store and get some lime. I really do like this spreader. It's it's not the biggest and it doesn't hold the most, it, but you know what? For just start, starting out, I think it's fourteen thousand new. That is that is pretty cheap for a spreader because you know a lot of the smaller ones in the mod hub, um, they don't do lime, which which I guess you know they're probably not designed for it. But it doesn't really make sense because this one this one does lime and this is similar to the the uh, I think it's the Coon brand. Maybe that's a mod. I can't remember, but there's there's a smaller one in the mod hub. It's about this size, but it it doesn't do line. And that sucks because you got to spend 40 grand or so on the other one. And when you're just starting out and you got lime turned on, you almost got to rent the thing because 40 grand will pretty much bankrupt you. Well, let's grab these partials first. Yeah, that's why that's why I like this one so much cuz even though it's a small capacity, it does do lime and that's really nice when you're when you're starting out, you don't have to spend a whole lot on a fertilizer. But we might uh, yeah, we might need to buy more lime. Hopefully not, but Yeah, maybe by the time we well, maybe by the time we lime again, I was going to say we should have enough for a little bigger spreader, but probably not. But that's alright. This isn't too bad, filling this guy up. And it's not too far of a drive, like I said before, so. just wish these guys would hurry up. Constantly passing people. At least there's a, you know, the dotted line so you're allowed to pass. And then the, look at, <laughs> there's just all these pigs here. Like, what is this? Oh, 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 almost hit him. I have never seen wild pigs just grazing by a, by a tree, let alone next to a car accident. That's something else I've never seen. A bunch of pigs roaming around by a car accident with a non-existent driver. Yeah, I think we're going to start this guy, and he will empty probably almost immediately, but I think that should give us time to get down to the store and swap out the headers. I don't know if the header's gonna fit over the bridge. Cause that bridge is a little narrow, but we will try our best. But that should be about good. Yeah, a little bit of overlap over it. Well, maybe not, it looks pretty good. Alright, so let's tab over here and then grab this guy. I know this header will fit across the bridge. But I guarantee that guy's going to run out of line before we get back, but that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'll take this over to the store and sell it, because you get more money if you sell it at the store versus selling it out of the garage in the, when you're looking at the store. And I think we're going to want all the money, the most money we can possibly get. Yeah, I, I get, when I bought this combine, I got the upgraded engine, too, just uh, kind of for this purpose, because I knew I'd probably be wanting to upgrade the header pretty soon. I, I didn't test it with the low horsepower model with the bigger header, so I figured I'd just go.
go ahead and upgrade that right away. I also wouldn't mind getting the crawler tracks on this thing eventually too, because those look pretty cool. But I wonder if it's a oh god, there's a slight car accident, but I, I don't. They seem like they didn't notice, so we'll just pretend like it didn't happen. What is that there? Is it? I guess it's not a cell point. Maybe it is. Looks like there's a a cell point marker on the map. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, God, that's a small little field over there, 42. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised with the, uh, the acreage, I guess you could say, that they start you off with. It's pretty nice. A lot of times you get, like, tiny little fields, and it takes so long to make money. That's, that's usually when I end up maxing out my loans straight off the bat. But, like I said, this time we're not going to do that. Oh, oh, don't close on me. Alright, where is the trigger for this workshop trigger? It's the ATM. I don't think we need that. Is it inside? Is this it here? Oh, you know what? I bet this door opens. This is an awesome little store, by the way. The Kloss dealership. That is pretty cool. Does this open? Oh, it does open. Okay. So yeah, it looks like you just drive... Oh, look at that. Is this a usable forklift? Oh, it is. That is awesome. So I can use this to load my truck. I didn't even know that was there. That is awesome. And we don't own that either. That's cool. Must be like, uh, you know, they trust me enough to operate their machinery. I don't, I, I don't know if I would trust me enough to do that because I've seen my driving in this game and that thing will probably end up flipped over at least three times. Anyway, let's uh, let's repair that and sell it. It's 27 grand. That's that's not too bad. All right, now before we drive away and totally forget to pick up the header that we made this special trip for, let's buy that. Yeah, that'll work a lot better, a lot faster. Yeah, I'll have to bring the truck down here and load up all of our all of our junk we've been storing. I'm surprised they haven't charged me a storage fee for that yet. This will definitely, definitely speed up the process. It looks like he's either stopped or out of line. And yeah, this is what I was worried about, fitting over the bridge, because it, it takes up the entire road. So, uh, I hope it fits over. If not, I guess we'll have to figure something out. Yep, there I am on the wrong side of the road again. It would be seriously dangerous if I ever was driving overseas somewhere where they drive on the opposite side of the road because I would definitely forget and cause an accident, and that would not be good. But hopefully we can make it through before... Yeah, we're just going to cut over now. I don't want to wait for the traffic. And let's see. Is it going to fit? No, not even close. Uh... So this might be this might be a little little ridiculous, but I think we're gonna have to push it across the bridge because um, I don't really see any other option to get that over there without buying a header trailer that we probably don't have the money for. Oh 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 no! That was not the direction we wanted to push that. God, the turning radius is not the best. On this combine here. Sorry, piggies. I'm kind of <laughs> encroaching on your your land here. I don't want to hit you. Oh, oh. oh, come on. There we go. All right, let's try that. Probably jackknife it, get it stuck on the bridge. Have to reset it. Take another three, four hours to get this back. But that's just usually how my luck goes. But we'll see. Just gotta make it like 30 feet. Oh, come on. Oh no. Come on, you can do it. Don't get stuck. Just a little power. There we go. Look at that. This, I'm sure, is exactly how most people would bring their brand new $50,000 header home, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think we should be safe. I think we'll be able to get it back now. There we go. And then when you hook it up, obviously, you just drive full speed right into it and smash it up pretty good. Yeah, oh crap, the planter is done. Sweet. I'm sure he's out of line. 
I'm sure that's why he stopped. But luckily, they have a, a shop forklift that we, I guess, have access to. Um, that'll that'll probably come to an end when we break it. But yeah, so we'll get this guy parked in the barn, and then that other field over there is completely ready to go. It is planted, fertilized, two states limed, just that missing plow state. But I, that doesn't really make sense because it was plowed when I looked at it in the. Well, well, before I planted it, it was plowed, so I don't know how it could possibly be missing a plow state. But, eh, whatever. It'll be okay. This one also is needed to be plowed, and I forgot totally to plow it. Oh, wow, he did some weird stuff here. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll fill him up with lime. Oh, he missed quite a bit. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll run him over, fill him up with lime real quick. And then he should have enough to finish this field. And then after that, it's just herbicide and then another fertilizer state, which I probably won't make you sit through because that's I know it's boring for me to do, so I'm assuming it'd be even more boring for you to watch someone else do it. So yeah, once we get this guy limed, then we'll uh, probably, probably wrap up the video because I think... Am I going the right way? I am going the right way probably wrap up the video because we're probably getting a little close on the time. I don't want to make it too long. I was kind of aiming for a half hour and I've gone way over that so far. So, But you know, you just get into it and you kind of lose track of time. It's kind of how I end up playing this game for six hours straight and not even realize it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably need the rest of this too. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, oh god, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it here and probably bring you guys back in when that field's all done, and then we'll probably wrap up the video sometime after that. So, yep, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, you guys, welcome back. Alright, so, I got the fields fertilized, herbicided, planted, of course, and I put everything away semi-neatly. We got the new header. I think it was a pretty successful uh, first day at my new farm. But on that note, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, you know, if there's anything you'd like to see changed or if you have any suggestions for me, I'm still very new to this. So any advice or tips and tricks, that is greatly appreciated. But anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Dave from D&J Farming.